Anyway, so I light my candles, throw on one piece on the motherfucking laptop. This time, though, maybe a little too warm. The water was a little too warm. I felt like I didn't regulate the temperature well. When I first got in, it, like, felt really hard. Like, it just it did not feel good to be in it. And 25 minutes later, one episode of One Piece later, I definitely felt like I was cooking in there. Okay? Laptop in the bath? No, it's not in the bath. I have a side table that I put the... I have a side table where I put the laptop on, you know, throw on one piece. I'm sitting in there. It's awesome. It, but I did feel like I was soup. I'm not even kidding. So you are literally the only streamer I watch where I will sit here and listen to talk about their bath. Yeah. So that was fire while I was watching Water 7. Uh, also, uh, Luffy is goaded. Uh, Zoro is finally slicing through trains, slicing through like people who can slice through ships. And I thought to myself, God damn, like episode, I mean, season two, Zoro matched up against someone who was capable of cutting through ships. And I was like, that is an awesome power. No one has ever seen a power like this. How the fuck will Zoro get this good? He is unmatched. And then after surviving that and like numerous seasons later, he's finally getting to that point where he can actually also slice through ships. And you watch that growth and you're like, damn, that's fire. I can't believe that like a guy that they briefly showed in season two is going to be relevant in Zoro's life this much. The ship Mihawk slice was way bigger though. Yeah, I'm just saying that like Zoro is, is like slowly but surely becoming as powerful as his enemies. You know, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. I love that. You've come around on taking baths. When can we get you to come around on cats? Eventually, everything will happen. Anyway, yeah, no shit chatter. Mihawk is the strongest swordsman in the world, Pago. Yeah, I mean, it's cool that, like, he's getting, though. He's he's getting there, okay? Um, what, I mean, the, the train arc on Water 7 is pretty goaded. It's pretty fire. You know, you have chatters in here now that fucking cry and offline asking for One Piece updates. Love that. People that love One Piece do not have a normal experience with One Piece. They just consume it like it's it's religion. I'm not in Eni's lobby yet. I'm in the train arc. Why are you guys Pepe laying? Oh, God. Don't be annoying. Don't be annoying. Where else was I? Okay, One Piece. Oh, and then here's the thing. I went to bed. I don't even know how, okay? I got out of that fucking bathtub. I don't know how I found the bed, okay? It fucked me up. It fucked me up. And I don't think, not in a good way. I woke up so refreshed, though. It was crazy. I woke up insanely refreshed. God damn. Damn, dude. Bro, sous vide is dick and balls. Literally, I think I did do that. 